I think you'll find that in fact, the superior versions of multi-platform titles are found on the PS5, with features like 4K, higher frame rates, ray tracing, and the unique SSD increasing graphics and performance. I always find it funny that PC gamers always talk about 4K and ray tracing, but if you are not on PS5, you don't even know what ray tracing is. What's up guys? I hope y'all are having a great day today. You know, we are going to be taking a look at just a truly wonderful YouTube video here titled Griffin Gaming is Furious Response to Griffin Gaming number two. Now, at first, you may not think this video is anything that special, man, but trust me, we are in for an absolutely wild ride here because this video is coming from none other than one of my personal favorite content creators on this entire website known as YouTube.com, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Big Man Gamers. Imagine playing a game on console. <laughs> And as usual, Big Man Gamers is trying to say that I hate the PlayStation or I hate people that play on PlayStation. I only make fun of people who play on PlayStation. Whatever you want to say, man, it doesn't even matter because you know what? I think without further ado here, let's just go ahead and dive balls deep into this absolutely fantastic YouTube video. So go ahead, sit back, relax, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's go ahead and play this absolutely fantastic YouTube video. What's up guys, Big Man here back with another video, but before we get started guys, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. Yeah, I guess the same applies here man, you know, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification on, you know, leave a comment down below, share this video with all your friends, whatever man, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. And I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. You guys are awesome, and don't you ever forget that. So, with all that said, let's get into the video, guys. Dude, I'm like literally shaking with excitement. I cannot wait to get into this video. Now. Holy shit, bro. He's really stepping up his production quality. Like, now the fucking big man gamer's icon moves? Bro, I need to be careful. This motherfucker is coming for my head, bro. Like, this man is trying to take my spot on YouTube, bro. This production quality is unmatched. I need to do so much better. Now, this is gonna be another response video to Griffin Gaming. <laughs> Bro, there is literally no recovery on that one. That is like the ultimate roast of the entire century. I don't know how I'm ever going to recover from that, dude. Like this man literally just said that I put the gay in gaming. And well, now that I kind of think about it, maybe he's not wrong. Who made not one, but two videos talking on Big Man Gamers. Oh shit, dude. You know he's pissed off when the fucking Big Man Gamers icon flips right after he finishes his sentence. The first one is his response to my response to his response to my exclusive video, which he was so mad over. And the second one is about his video trolling my video about PC gaming. So guys, if you don't know who Griffin Gamers is by now, he is a huge PC and Xbox loving fanboy. That's right, man. I haven't plugged my Xbox in in like five months or so. What is it, May? Yeah, five months. So, you know, it definitely exposed here. Massive Xbox fanboy. Can't even fucking deny it, dude. Who loves to roll in peace with fans. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it is fanboys and trolls. Bro, you've got to be. <laughs> Bro, this is how you know this man is pumping out some top tier quality content. The irony is just too good. He just loves making videos trolling fans of PS5, and he hates PlayStation exclusives too. I mean, you're not exactly wrong, to be honest. I do enjoy trolling fanboys, and I'm not really the biggest fan of PlayStation exclusives, so I guess fair point. Because they have interesting stories, great graphics, and fun gameplay. And he says that online games like Fallout 76 and Anthem are better, and that all games should be like those instead. 
I mean, once again, I'll throw it out here. I spent more time with Anthem and Fallout 76 than the majority of PlayStation exclusives, so take that as you will. I definitely enjoy online shooters a lot more than single player games. And I'm not even saying like I like Fallout 76 or Anthem because both of those games are fucking dog shit. But Griffin Gaming doesn't even play games anyway. What he does is boot up Fortnite open the in-game store and buy thousands of dollars worth of loot boxes on his mom's credit card. Yo, bro, chill the fuck out. Don't expose. I don't want my mom to find out. I don't want to have to ask mommy for the visa. That's what he does. And he says if you don't do the same, then you aren't a real gamer like him. That's right, man. If anybody's out here gatekeeping what it means to be a real gamer, it's definitely me. That's what he says. That's all he ever says. Now gamers, we're gonna skip ahead a little in this first video, as it was kinda boring. All Griffin does is talk about how much he loves Harry Potter, and how Lego's Harry Potter is his favorite game. Yeah, dude, if there's anything I love in this life, it's definitely Harry fucking Potter, dude. But this man literally includes my entire Harry Potter rant in this video sped up, so you know what, I guess enjoy that. Right, man, I'm not gonna cap, bro. I'm actually kind of pissed off by this. I'm a little bit triggered, dude. I absolutely hate Harry Potter. Like, you literally have magic. These dudes have those worthless abilities whatsoever. You know, they're cool, they're fucking man, bro. 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 You know, they're cool, they're fucking man, Again, I'm not really sure why he included this in the video, but yeah, it's there if anybody's interested, I guess. I think his ideal perfect dream game would be if you took Star Wars Battlefront 2 and replaced all character skins with Harry Potter characters, and the game would be a $70 game, which you have to buy Season Pass for, and then a yearly subscription fee on top of that, and then the game would be filled with loot boxes and play unskippable in-game ads every 5 minutes, just like when you're watching YouTube. That's what he wants. Damn, man, I'm not gonna lie, that game sounds fire as fuck, dude. When can I pre-order? Imagine being a PC gamer. Well, fortunately, I'm in a position where I don't have to imagine it. No games. Playing stuff that looks like a 10-year-old indie game, a load of glorified mobile phone games, and paying thousands of dollars for hardware that doesn't even work, and everything being in 480p with the soap opera effect. I mean, what can I say, dude? He's absolutely right. Every single day, I regret the decision of me buying a 3090, man. I regret getting a PC. You know, I wish I could go back to being a console gamer. Please, big man gamers, will you help me walk back down the path of righteousness? Help me correct my wrongs. Help me become a PlayStation fanboy. Please, I'm literally begging you. Also, this next segment's like a really long part from the video I made about him. So yeah, just kind of watch it. I, I want the context to all be there, you know? I don't want to be accused of taking anything he says out of context. You know, you don't want to mess with big man gamers. You spend thousands of dollars and spend all day bragging about it. It's okay, man. Just save up some money, buy a PC, and you can do the same thing. No need to feel jealous. Bro, if I wanted remaster PS2 graphics... Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck did the PS2 come from? Then I just boot up my PS4 and play Resident Evil 4 HD. Or GTA Vice City upscaled to 1080. You don't need to spend thousands to play remaster PS2 game graphics with the soap opera effect. Or you can even connect your PS2 to an HD TV with composite cables and get the same graphics PC Master Rix fanboys are always bragging about. Okay, like, that literally <laughs> made no sense. But my question is, is why the fuck do you still have a PS2, bro? It's like 2021. Just emulate that shit. I was talking about the graphics, because PC gamers think that graphics on my PC are better than on consoles. I don't think it's really a matter of opinion or thinking something, I think it's an objective fact, but, you know, I'm sure you'll enlighten us to exactly what you mean. 
They think CSGO and Minecraft have better graphics than Uncharted 4 and Sparman. I think he meant to say Spider-Man, but he went like Sparman or some shit. I have no fucking clue, but I don't think anyone's really out here making the case that Uncharted 4 looks worse than Minecraft and CSGO, but I know one thing for sure. CSGO and Minecraft are a hundred times more enjoyable to play than Sparman or Uncharted 4. But when you get down to the brass tacks and actually see the games on PC for yourself, they all look like a remaster of PS2 game made by an indie developer 10 years ago. That's right, man. Every game on PC, including the ones that were on PS4 previously, just look like indie games from 10 years ago. But the PC Master Race insists that PC is better, saying the best games are for PC. But I think you'll find that in fact, the superior versions of multi-platform titles are found on the PS5. <laughs> Bro, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, Jesus Christ. With features like 4K, higher frame rates, ray tracing, and the unique SSD increasing graphics and performance. Ah yes, the PlayStation 5 SSD. Nothing increases performance and frame rates quite like an SSD, man. You know, if you want to experience true 4K, high refresh rate gaming with real ray tracing, the only place to do so is the PlayStation 5. Definitely not a 3090. I mean, that shit is only possible with the power of Sony. Sony's SSD. I always find it funny that PC gamers always talk about 4K and ray tracing, but if you are not on PS5, you don't even know what ray tracing is. Yeah, that's right. You know, we don't know what real ray tracing is until we play on the PlayStation 5. Abso-fucking-lutely, dude. But even if I did mean real PS2 games, Griffin Gamers is a zoomer who hates classic games. I mean, another fair point. I mean, if something wasn't made like during the 360 era, chances are I'm probably not going to go back and play it. So I guess that makes me a zoomer, dude. If Griffin had his way, all we'd have to play is the latest Call of Duty until the next one comes out. Then it'll expire and you could never play it again. Yeah, not really my ideal situation because I love Modern Warfare 2019 and absolutely hate Cold War, so wouldn't really be something I advocate for, but whatever, man. If he gets his way, all we'd have to play is the latest FIFA and Madden until the next ones come out and the old ones are gone forever. If he gets his way, we'll all be playing soap opera simulators just like him. I mean, if any platform has soap opera simulators, it would definitely be, you know, the story walking simulators on the PS5. But again, go off, bro. I'm sorry, but if you game on PC, then you cannot call yourself a real gamer. Dude, what the fuck? It just feels like my right ear got molested. Gamer. Bro, what the fuck? We're getting some big man gamers ASMR right here. Not only are PlayStation exclusives exclusive to PlayStation. No shit. Exclusive to us PlayStation fans and are not only available for PlayStation and only PlayStation, but they are also only possible on PlayStation. <laughs> you serious? That's right, PC noobs like Griffin hate our epic god tier exclusives. Uh, I wouldn't really call them god tier, but I don't necessarily hate them, I just really don't enjoy them for the most part. They think they are the worst games ever made. Until years later, and Sony give them our old ass games that we finished long ago. I mean, I played Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4, didn't really like it, rebought it on PC, didn't really like it, so I would say I'm pretty consistent on that shit. Our sloppy seconds. Just like in the Animal Kingdom, when the lions are done eating, then after the big dogs have finished. Lions are big cats, thank you very much. 
Only then is when the hyenas and the vultures are allowed to come and pick at the bones. At the shit left on the carcass none of us wanted. The balls, the cock, the asshole. I mean, to be honest, man, that's a great way to describe those games. Balls, cock, and asshole. Because they're complete dog shit. You guys can keep that shit. Like, I'm not, like, excited for Days Gone coming to PC. I don't care about that game. I didn't care about it when it came out on PS4. And I don't care about it now. I'm probably not even going to buy it. So, yeah. I mean, that's kind of a great way to put it, dude. You know, he's even roasting PlayStation games for me now. So, you know what? I really appreciate that, big man gamers. You're a real one. Then they think they are awesome games. But here lies the true reason why Griffin Gamers is so excited at the idea of PlayStation games coming out for my PC is that he wants The Last of Us 2. abso fucking not So he can play as Abby. He is dying to play that game and will do anything to get it. Bro, shut the fuck up. Don't expose me. Hey man, nothing gets me harder than a diamond in an ice storm than The Last of Us 2. Bro, that is a low blow. Editing audio to make it sound like I'm excited for The Last of Us Part 2? Like, come on, man. Big man gamers, I expected so much better of you. But keep up the port begging, PC fanboys. And in three years' time from now, you might just get household name classics like Knack and Destruction All-Stars. Yeah, you guys can keep that shit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I spent more time in Mass Effect Andromeda before I dropped it than I did in Spider-Man, so That's right, man. We can only hope that in the future, Spider-Man will have loot boxes, because then maybe I would actually buy the next game in the series. Like, but let's be real here. How could you ever get bored of microtransactions? Like, dude, that shit's lit as fuck. I mean, once again, man, he's not wrong. There is nothing I love more than opening a loot box after a long day of gaming. I stand by everything I said in those clips. He just loves things like microtransactions, loot boxes, and Game Pass. But isn't it funny how developers and publishers are always trying to cater to Xbox and PC fanboys? Even though they don't buy their games, the reason they ruined Dead Space 3 was to appeal to normies and zoomers like them. Why the fuck are we talking about Dead Space 3? That game came out in like, what, 2012? You can thank them for that, and for there being no Dead Space 4, and Griffin thinks that's a good thing. That's why they ruined it, by chasing the online gaming dollars, and look where that got them. That's what PC gamers want. They think all normal games should be canned and replaced with Battle Royale and be loaded with loot boxes. Yeah, if anyone knows me, they know my absolute favorite genre of video games is Battle Royale. And just in case you couldn't tell, there was a lot of sarcasm in that statement. If you take Xbox gamers and cross them with mobile gamers, you get PC gamers. But I find that the PC gaming formula of FPSs with microtransactions got old pretty quick. Griffin Gamers loves watching in-game ads and downloads mobile phone games just to watch them. I think I have a grand total of zero games on my phone, but you know what? Sure, whatever you say, man. I'm just downloading mobile phone games all the time to watch ads. He probably downloaded The Simpsons tapped out just to buy donuts. What the fuck is that? And Bro, I really don't get what these long-ass pauses are. Is he, like, pulling up the next page of his document or some shit? Because, like, in previous videos, you've heard, like, literal pages of paper fucking turn. As he's reading from a script, I'm just wondering if this shit's, like, written in crayon or something. Alright, you know what? That was really... <laughs> was really good, man. I'm not gonna lie. Inserting the page turning sound effect, you know, well played there. Well played, my friend. You know, I could appreciate that shit. Griffin Gamers gets all his gaming news from Colt Eastwood, Kotaku, and 
IGN and always says if he wanted to see a story, then he'd just watch a movie. Yeah, I mean, if I wanted to watch a game where 50% of it's cutscenes and dialogue, then yeah, I'd just watch a movie. But those three sources of information, if you can even call them that, are definitely my go-tos, man. How did you figure it out? Well, if I wanted to see the soul opera effect, then i just watch Days of Our Lives. I mean, I guess he was right about one thing. I am a Zoomer because I have no idea what that even is. All Griffin Gamers does is play online Battle Royale games and looter shooters. All he plays is Valorant and H1Z1. That's yeah, literally two games I've never played in my entire life, but I guess you're right, dude. Like, what else can I add to this, man? He obviously knows best. That's what he does. More kill streaks, more V Box, more 360 no scope. His favorite games are Roblox and Legos Harry Potter. I've played Lego Harry Potter. Definitely not my favorite Lego game. I'd definitely go with Lego Star. Star Wars over it, but Roblox? I've actually never played it, but some of the game modes on there actually look good. I may get into it. I'm not sure though, so maybe that statement will be correct. But what is that accent of his? Is he Japanese? Like, this is a genuine question here. Like, how do you listen to me speak and think, yeah, dude, he's probably from Japan? Or is he from Brazil? Yeah, definitely not from Brazil, but Brazilian chicks, man, absolute fire. Or do I detect a hint of Norwegian in there? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I don't even know what a Norwegian sounds like. What is that accent? Let me know, guys. But Bro, like, for real, I could say the exact same thing. <laughs> like, dude, what is your accent? I mean, you've said some words that have kind of helped me triangulate it to either New Zealand or Australia. You know, we did some um investigation on stream, but I have no clue what your accent is, man. You know, if you guys have any sort of idea, please let me know in the comments section because, you know, I am trying to solve the mystery of the big man gamer's accent, and I genuinely have no idea. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh! All that good stuff. Big man gamers, out! And just like that, the video is over, guys. You know, I guess the key takeaway here is, once again, I am just completely jealous of the PlayStation 5. I am jealous of PlayStation gamers. I wish I could experience true greatness in next-generation visuals, graphical fidelity, frame rates, ray tracing, and the power of the PlayStation 5 SSD. You know, I wish PlayStation 5 was my primary gaming platform, even though I own one and could literally make it that way at any time. You know, at this point, it's just, like, I'm too far deep at this point into PC gaming. You know, I can't cannot swallow my pride and just admit I made a mistake, dude. You know, it's the sunk cost fallacy, I guess. But, you know, Big Man Gamers is absolutely right. The PlayStation 5 is the superior gaming platform. The Xbox and PC absolutely fucking suck. And, you know what? Once again, he just completely destroyed my entire YouTube career. But in all seriousness, guys, that is going to do it for this video today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. I kind of took a little bit of a break from the end of my semester to now just because I was literally burnt out, bro. Like, the last couple weeks of the semester were literal hell, and I just needed some time to get away from the internet, but I am back. I'm going to be doing regular content now. going to be doing regular streams as well, so look forward to that. I only have one class for the next six or seven weeks, and then I'm basically free for two months. So, you know, look forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting a lot more content out, and I really do appreciate all the support on the channel. But with that said, guys, that is going to do it for the video today. As always, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video, and for all the recent support as well and i will catch you guys next time